Lawrence Olivier, John, Joan Fontaine, not too much of a tough act to follow, right? Well, they're both dead. I mean, what are they going to say? <laughs> I mean, we're doing an adaptation of a film that Hitchcock also made an adaptation from the same book. Uh, they're they're kind of like big shoes to fill. But at the same time, like if you're not swinging for the fences, why even get up to bat? You know, it's been a long time since there has been a film of, of this book. Um, I think that our um, this younger generation hearing this story will take it on in a different in a different way. I think we're far better at expressing our frustration um, of uh, of being um, born female, our frustration with the inequalities that there are. Um, and I think that that makes it, you know, gives it a new, uh, a, a new tone. How am I supposed to know anything if you don't tell me? She's still here. Can you feel her? I think I read that your mom gave you uh, your first copy of the book. Is that correct? Yeah, I I feel like I'm questioning myself now whether I made that, but she she I'm I'm sure she didn't. I went to I was in I went to India when I was like 20, and I was reading it on a sleeper train. I remember thinking it was definitely the wrong book to read in India because I was not looking out the window. I was just like reading and feeling I was like back in the English countryside. Um, but I I remember well for sure remember reading the book and thinking this is crazy <laughs> this is so intoxicating and so surprising and so shocking and twisted and um and romantic somehow and i remember being very struck by it many years ago uh it was very haunting very compelling uh and then i you know you move on and you do other things and then then i read this adaptation all these many years later and all of that came back the beauty the the haunting nature of this love story, how complex that world is and how full of suspense and also weird dynamics. Um, it's very, very powerful. A love story is always relevant and how Ben has brought this together in this stunning story, um, I, I think it's so compelling. Um, and even if you don't think that's kind of your cup of tea, the minute you start watching, I don't think you walk away. It's just too good. What would you say this story can say to people coming to it for the first time of like your generation or, or younger generations? If you're going to get romantically involved with someone, you should probably ask if they ever murdered their pregnant <laughs> spouse. Just as like an icebreaker, you know. Mm, make sure you know the man you're going to marry it's also I think that the, a young audience are going to love it because it's like within this kind of gothic romantic thriller ghost story it's got everything it's like luscious to watch but it's also an amazing look on like men and women and jealousy and obsession and and being a victim and emotional abuse and all like stuff that's always going to remain you know relevant right.